guys, Submoto here. So uh, here's a quick uh, a Submoto quickie. Uh, one of my buddies' bike was stolen uh, yesterday, a BMW from the uh, 70s, I believe, uh, an oldie anyway. But he was it was brand new. He or he just bought it, and um, he went up to uh, he went up in his apartment uh, for like three three four minutes, and he took the keys with him. Uh, he didn't lock his bike, I don't think, but uh, but he took the keys with him. And uh, and then while he was in his apartment, he heard uh, somebody start his bike. And he ran down, and he ran after them, and um, and two uh, two kids or two guys uh, rode off on his bike. And um, there are these gangs uh, in town here um, that do nothing but provoke uh, people and beat up people and steal shit and break into apartments. Um, and it's pretty really localized. Um, so he had a good idea as to uh, where they came from, like what part of town. And sure enough, uh, he rode around town here in this part of town. And he um, he spotted them three times and called the police, but I guess they managed to get away. Uh, now he just uh, wrote me that they just spotted his bike uh, here, pretty close to to where I live actually. And um, and so I offered to uh, to ride by and see if the bike was still there. Where the hell am I? This isn't right. Um, so apparently, um, some guy called him. And said that they knew where his bike was, but that they wanted, um, I think, like about $300. Uh, and then they would tell him where it was. Uh, this isn't right. And um, and then he called the police and told them. And they said, oh, that's a, that's like a trick that they use. Like, they'll tell you that, and then you come out, and they, they all only want to accept cash. And then you come out there and give them the money, and then they beat the crap out of you and... and take or ask for more money. I well, wouldn't ask for money, but press you to pay more money. And um, and so uh, so there's a good chance that they're violent, uh, these gangs. It looks like they may have gotten here before, uh, before me. What's up? Det var da lækkert. Well, the bike was recovered. Ses. So I guess I wasn't the first on the scene after all. But um, <laughs> whatever, I was ready. So the bike was recovered, which is an awesome thing. But um, you know, the, the cool the cool thing about this here's the thing uh, a motorcycle network in this place anyway is so strong and this goes to show why why we choose to ride bikes um, the network on Facebook and on the internet in general is so strong that uh, every time somebody loses a bike or a bike is stolen it just spreads like wildfire, and people ride out and look for uh, look for people for their bikes, and um, and that's what happened. I mean, it, it was this picture. The picture of his bike was shared so much that uh, somebody who'd seen the picture on the internet just saw happened to see his motorcycle on that uh, that street one day after it was stolen, which is amazing. Not only that, the, we bikers we help each other. But uh, but the fact that that they actually um, that the network is so strong that it, it's as effective as it is, and obviously if they're if it's somebody who really wants your bike, they're gonna take it. I mean, there's just you, there's nothing you can do about it, and uh, they can do all sorts of things to um, to steal your bike. But for a bike like this, that's worth like on a really good day, maybe like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. Because these kind of bikes aren't really worth that much. It's mostly the uh, uh, the work we put into them that hurts. Most most of the time, they'd uh, they'd steal your bike and just ride around like joyride, and uh, and then that's it. And then they just stash it somewhere or burn it. They do that sometimes too. 
So, um, so yeah, so I'm glad I could, I could help him, although I didn't really help. Um, I was hoping I'd be the first on the scene and I could just keep an eye on it. Um, so that was the day's excitement. A uh, submoto quickie. <laughs> Um, so no street fights for you this time. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. So remember to subscribe and ride, and I'll catch you all later.